All right, welcome back to L'Hopital's rule. We're going to look at example 2.2.2. We're going to evaluate two different limits using L'Hopital's rule. Um, one thing that I want to remind you, let's go back to the statement. You can only apply it for 0 over 0 and infinity over infinity. And here, this sentence is going to be important for the next example. You may need to apply L'Hopital's rule more than once. It might take two, three, four times before you get a limit that you can evaluate by just plugging in. All right, so let's try this one. Limit as x goes to infinity of x squared over e to the x. Um, if I plug in I get plus infinity squared, e to the plus infinity. Um, for those of you who don't remember, let's graph e to the plus infinity. So y equals e to the x. I want to go to infinity. That's this way. And so I'm going straight up very fast. All right, so that's infinity over infinity. All right, infinity over infinity, one of the two cases where I can apply L'Hopital's rule, so let's apply it. I get the limit as x goes to positive infinity. I take the derivative of the top, um, that's 2x. Then I apply the derivative of the bottom. Um, that doesn't change, e to the x stays e to the x. All right, let's plug in again. I get 2 times infinity over e to the plus infinity. And so I still get infinity over infinity, right? So it looks like we're going in circle, but one thing to notice is the power of x went down. It went down, so things are getting simpler, which is a good sign. So let's try to reapply it. I'm still allowed because I'm still getting infinity over infinity. And my hope is um, the next step, when I take the derivative, I end up with just a constant. And so in the next step, when I evaluate, I have 2 over um, e to the positive infinity. I get 2 over plus infinity. So this is not an indeterminate type. This is a type that you can actually evaluate now. 2 over a huge number, that's going to be a very, very small number. And so I'm getting 0. All right, let's try one more. Um, let's try this limit here. Limit as x goes to positive infinity of ln of x squared over x. All right, so last video we saw the graph of log and we saw that log of infinity was positive infinity. Um, we don't need to re-graph it. I think you guys remember. And so I'll get infinity squared over plus infinity. And so I'm getting infinity over infinity. All right, that means I'm allowed to use L'Hopital. Um, I'm going to get the derivative of log of x. Um, if you're comfortable, you can do it directly um, within the limit, but if you're not, you can do it on the side. Um, the power rule tells me to take 2 down and then log of x, and because my interior is more complicated than just x, I'm going to need a derivative of that. And so I get 2 ln of x, 1 over x. Derivative of the denominator is super simple. I'm differentiating x, so I get 1. All right, so again, what I'm getting is close to what I started with, just a tiny bit simpler. All right, I'm getting 2 ln of x over x. And so my power of the log went down by 1. And so again, I hope that if I apply it again, I'm going to be... able to um, evaluate. Uh, notice I, I didn't actually evaluate this separately. I know it's infinity over infinity because it looks a lot like this, but I need to say so. And so if you haven't done it separately like we did here, um, you can just put it underneath it. It's telling me I know log is going to infinity. I know x is going to infinity. So I have thought, uh, um, I've, uh, I've thought about it, and I know it's one of the two types on which we can apply L'Hopital. All right, now the derivative is a bit simpler because I don't have a squared, so it's just 1 over x. And then the derivative of x is 1. And so I end up, actually, let me write it 
I have plenty of space. Let me write it here. I get the limit as x goes to positive infinity, 2 over x. That's 2 over positive infinity. 2 over a huge number, I get 0. All right, let's try another example. So in all of the examples I've done so far with L'Hopital, there was always one function that I couldn't uh, get around. I couldn't factor, I couldn't use algebra on these. And so those factors were problematic. Now I'm going to do one where everything is nice and polynomial. The top is polynomial, the denominator is polynomial, but where L'Hopital can help you. It still applies, so you can use it. So this one, you could have done in cal one and so i'm going to do it again using l'hopital and then i'll do it a second time using cal one just to show you i'm going to apply l'hopital because the top is infinity to the seven the bottom is minus infinity to the five and so i'm getting infinity to the infinity i'm sorry if I'm evaluating it that way, <laughs> I might as well write it out. So plus infinity to the 7 minus 3. The minus 3 is completely small compared to the infinity and so won't matter. And so here I'm getting infinity over infinity. I'm allowed to use L'Hopital. I'm going to take the derivative of the top and derivative of the bottom. I'll get 7x6 um, minus 10. x5. Uh, sorry, x4. I'm sorry, power rule. All right. At this point, if you plug it in, you still get infinity over infinity. And so you would be allowed to reapply L'Hopital. You'd be about, uh, allowed to reapply L'Hopital, but if you look at it, the power keeps going down, and so it's going to cancel. It's, uh, it's going to get to a constant at some point, but it takes four more steps, and I don't want to do this. So at this point, I'm going to just cancel the powers. I'm going to use algebra instead of L'Hopital, and that's going to save me some time. I'll get 7x squared over minus 10, and that's minus 7, 10 times plus infinity squared. And infinity squared is infinity, but times a negative number, that's going to be a big negative number, and so it's going to be minus infinity. All right, let's look at the old solution. All right, so we've seen some like this in chapter one, but you've seen some in um, Cal one as well. My trick is to factor the biggest power of the denominator. Biggest power of the denominator. And so in this case, I'm going to factor x5. I'm going to factor x5 from both the numerator and the denominator. So on top, I'll have x squared minus 3 over x5 left. Underneath, I'll get minus 2 plus 5 over x5 left. The x5 will cancel one another, and so what I'll have is the limit as x goes to positive infinity, x squared minus 3 over x5 minus 2 plus 5 over x5. And so I'm going to get positive infinity minus 0, because this one is going to be 3 over infinity. Underneath, I'm going to get minus 2 plus 0. Again, the denominator will be infinity. The top is a constant. And so I have infinity divided by minus 2. Infinity is going to be a huge number. If I divide it by minus 2, I still have a huge number. But now it's a negative huge number. 